Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here. And as we tear the November page off the calendar and begin December, December the 1st begins the Dead by Daylight Advent Calendar, which is going to run from now until January the 3rd. And this Advent Calendar is a virtual Advent Calendar. You log in to Dead by Daylight every day and you're going to get a bonus. And there will also be opportunities for you to redeem codes for cosmetics. Uh, with this tweet here... They changed their official account name to Dwelf by Daylight, the Dwelf on the shelf here. And it says the first week's rewards are ready to be revealed. Check out the schedule for more information. They told us that they would let us know in advance what we could expect to receive on different days uh, for the coming weeks that would be the login bonus reward. So if we click that link, it takes us to the official Dead by Daylight website in which they have this, this article here entitled Advent Calendar 2020, which reads, The season of giving is upon us in a Dead by Daylight. Let's celebrate the holidays and the end of 2020 together with free cosmetics and currencies. Okay, let's spoil some of it right now. Get ready for updates to the Ugly Sweater Collection. This Advent Calendar celebration is some jolly good fun. We're changing things up a bit with future events in Dead by Daylight. Check out the end of this post to see how. How will it work? Most days between December the 1st at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and January 3rd, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we will provide players with currency on logging into Dead by Daylight. On top of that, a handful of cosmetics rewards will be available via redeem codes. These codes can only be used during their specified time periods. The first week's rewards are ready to be revealed. and Let's check out the schedule below. So here you can see they have revealed the top six. Uh, we'll go into this a little more in depth and then we'll get next week's and the week after, etc., etc. Let's kick off December in style with Zarina's Snap Snap Sweater and the Killer's Stocking Charm filled with bloodstained weaponry for all the vicious boys and girls. Any related redeem codes will be available on this page and via the in-game news at the start of the week with each following week's available Mondays at 11 a.m. So every Monday, they're going to lay out the schedule for us each week. You can refer to your in-game news to find out what's being offered that week, when, and what the redeem codes are for those uh, specific cosmetics. So cosmetics, right now, this is the one that's on currently at the time of me making this video. From December the 1st, 11 a.m., to December the 4th, 11 a.m., the Killer's Stocking Charm. So to get this, you have to go into the shop and do the redeem code, one word, Naughty Stocking, to get that. Um, that's not actually given to you just for logging in. You have to redeem the code, and you have to do it within this time frame. Remember, it's based on when it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where the Montreal offices are for behavior, so your time zone may vary. Then after that, on December the 4th at 11 a.m. to December the 7th, the uh, opportunity will be there for you to put the redeem code for Zarina's Snap Snap Sweater. She's a, a photojournalist and it has um, a camera on it. And you have to type in the code Snap Snap in game to earn that. So it looks like, judging from this first week, they're going to give you a three-day period for each cosmetic item to log in and put in the code. On top of that, just logging in on the game will naturally give you these currencies and you don't have to do anything for those. There won't be any codes. Just turn on the game and you will get from December 1st to December 2nd, you're going to get 10,000 blood points. Tomorrow, December 2nd to December 3rd, you'll get 1,000 iridescent shards. And then from the 3rd to the 6th, it'll be 10,000 blood points per day. So if, you can, if you're able to log in every day, you can get these currency bonuses. But for the cosmetics, you just have to make sure you log in basically once every three days to put in these codes. The new cosmetics for the Ugly Sweater Collection will be made available via the in-game store after the holiday season. We'll communicate the exact date at a later point in time. So if for some reason you're busy at the holidays and you miss one of these sweaters that you could have gotten for free, they'll sell it to you in the shop after the new year. Uh, generally, they're about 250 Oryx cells each, I believe. Note that cosmetics are redeemable only once per user. Code will only be active for the specified time period. To redeem, 
enter the store and click redeem code at the top right. Now, I saw some people saying, well, these are limited codes and they're going to run out. They have enough for everyone. You just have to make sure that you enter the code before time expires. So it's not like they're going to run out of codes. It's just once the date passes, you won't be able to use that redeem code anymore. Future event news. If you were around for the previous winter events from 2017 and 2018, you may notice a slight difference in this advent calendar from those previous events. There's a reason for this, and we like to talk about it a bit. Going forward, we'll be contributing more effort towards our anniversary and Halloween related events. These are our largest events where we love to bring the community together and really celebrate Dead by Daylight as a family. Beyond these two, others will be treated as more as celebrations. We'll still be celebrating winter, the Lunar New Year, etc., but we're taking new approaches to them to better define and focus our efforts on those larger events. This means that you won't see special event gameplay mechanics or earnable cosmetics for these celebrations, but we'll continue to see activations such as login rewards, blood web items, and themed assets. We've heard your feedback from the recent Eternal Blight event, and this plan is our first step working towards events that truly feel special by allowing us to focus on which events need the most effort. Happy holidays, the Dead by Daylight team. So I believe when it says themed assets, I think you might still see like the Christmas crackers in the blood webs and perhaps the um, the entity mystery boxes cheaper for the holidays. Don't quote me on that. That might not be 100% true, but um, it's possible. Uh, we may also see strings of lights in the in the game, like um, around the hooks and the fire barrels and the uh, the lockers and such. Again, don't quote me on that. It may still happen that we'll have winter solstice decorations in the game, but we might not. So this is the change that um, they're doing to uh, events, and um, I hope that. They really knock our socks off when the anniversary event comes and the next Halloween event um, because this is what they've said. So I, I just really want to be wowed. I want the whole community to just have their jaws drop so nobody can naysay about anything. Hey, there's going to be some people who are going to say naysay no matter what, but let's try and make it difficult for them, eh? Dead by Daylight. Oh, sorry, I said A. Eh. My Canadian came out there for a minute. I apologize. All right, now I'm going to go into game and just in case there's somebody out there who doesn't understand this process, I'm going to show you how you enter one of these codes. Let's say you've logged in. Again, I'm going to show you here in the news that this stuff is here. This information is here in the news. Let's go over this again. See down here at the bottom, click news. This information is right in here. You just have to scroll down and it shows here week one and you get a look there at what the, the Santa stocking, uh, the naughty stocking and the snap snap Zarina what it looks like and it tells you right in here what the codes are so you can check your news on uh, a weekly basis to get this information i'm probably still going to make these videos but just in case you can be self-sufficient and uh, check this stuff out here so uh the way you do this if you have one of these redeem codes that you see in the news naughty stocking is the one we have right now so you're going to click store over here and then you want to make sure that you're on the Featured tab all the way to the left. See how my mouse it says Characters? Behind my camera here on the left, it says Featured. I'm already on that, but you might not be sometimes. And if you're not, you won't be able to see the spot here that says Redeem Code on the right behind my Fog Whisper charm. So you click Redeem Code, and then you click here, and we would type in Naughty Stocking. And it isn't case sensitive, but it does have to be all one word. So, Naughty Stocking. That's it. And then you click redeem and that, that'll give you the naughty, uh, naughty stocking charm. Now this says this code's already been claimed because I've already done mine. But if you haven't, then underneath this box, there'll be a noise and it'll ping and show the, the charm there for you. Remember, there's a killer charm. I had a couple of people today said I can't find my charm. And it's because they were looking for it on Survivor when in actuality, it is a killer charm. You have to go customize, and here it is. The killer stocking. Winter 2020. This is an uncommon. It's in the yellow section for your killers. And then we can look at it. 
There it is. Rather flat, but it's pretty cool. Look at all the cool instruments of death that the killers got in their stocking for being good killers from the entity. And that's it. So on, uh, what did I say? The, the fourth? The fourth, I'll do the same thing. And I'll come back into the store here. And I'll go to redeem code. And I'm going to type in snap snap and that'll give me the Zarina now I can't do this until 11 a.m. on the 4th right now it's gonna say that code's not valid because it's not activated and again if you enter one of these codes after the time has expired it'll also say it's not valid so you have to log in and put the redeem codes in during these three day periods you basically have 72 hours to activate this which I think is fair and uh yeah I guess that's all about all I have for you uh there are a lot of the um these um, holiday horror collection outfits. We have Krampus coming for the Trapper and a few things like that. Right now, the twins and uh, this LED reindeer onesie are the only ones that are out. But there are, I think, gosh, is it seven? Should we just watch the... Let's just watch the trailer, shall we? So this is the trailer for the holiday horror collection. These are cosmetics that are coming up over the next 10 or 12 days. First, we have the Krampus. This is a Trapper legendary outfit no. this one is available now this is the LOD reindeer onesie it's a linked outfit you can only buy it as a one-piece outfit because it's a one-piece and we have the winter wise cracks suit for Ace Visconti you can buy cosmetic pieces individually for that one as well as the Dwight in a box. It's my Dwight in a box. Zarina also gets a onesie. This is a linked cosmetic here. It's the penguin onesie. Claudette Claws here. That's a mix and match outfit. And then we have Sultry Jake in winter comfort. And he's barefoot for all you foot fetishes. Foot fetishes out there. Finally, this is the blood and guts outfit for the new killer of the twins. He's got the frostbite. All right. So, LED and the twins are available now. December the 4th brings the trapper as Krampus. December 8th, we have Dwight, Ace, and Zarina. And finally, December 11th, Claudette and Jake. Basically, the order that they showed them to us is the order they're going to be sold in. So from now to December 11th, we have those releases to look forward to. Uh, and remember, these are not the cosmetics that you get for logging in and putting in codes. These are paid cosmetics from the cosmetic shop. Um, I guess I can show you what some of the other sweaters are going to look like because people have uh, data mined them. So I can give you a glimpse of those, what we can probably expect over the next couple of weeks for um, sweaters. Let's look at that. Okay, so we're going to go through a few of these cosmetics from the files here. Uh, the first one we know about is coming this week is the Zarina with the Snap Snap. We see the camera here on the front of the sweater. I don't know the order of these, obviously, so we're just going to guess. Next, we're going to move on to Felix. This guy is so businesslike, even his uh, ugly Christmas sweater has a suit and tie. Am I right? Shirtless Felix, when? We can't even get this guy to dress down for an ugly sweater. I don't know. All right, and now we have the new character, Elodie, here. She has this green sweater. It looks like compass points on the front. Not entirely sure. And then finally, I'm assuming this is going to be a giveaway one, but I don't know for sure, is Cheryl from Silent Hill. And she has that Seal of Metatron sweater here. Um, I'm a little iffy on this one if it will be a free item because it is licensed. Bill was licensed, and I think we got that free, right? So... I'm assuming this is going to be free, but don't quote me on that. It might not be. And then we also see the Frosty Eyes collection for the new original killers. They're getting those Frosty Eyes. We have um, Deathslinger with the Frosty Eyes, uh, the Blight with Frosty Eyes, and the Twins with the Frosty Eyes. I don't know if those are going to be login items or if those are just going to be given because they don't normally sell Frosty Eyes. Not sure. But I guess they don't sell charms either. So maybe they will be login bonus items. And then there's a, there's a few charms as well, but, you know, we'll leave something to the imagination. So, that's all I have for you regarding the sweaters right now.
Okay, so hopefully I've set you on the right path on how to navigate this advent calendar 2020 event in Dead by Daylight. And um, hope that you enjoy all your login bonuses. And keep an eye out for those redeem codes in the news so you don't miss any. But if you're logging in every three days, you should be fine. All right? Good luck to you. Thanks always for watching. Take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.